Hello, I'm Mark Price. I'd like to talk to you today about paying attention. There was a young boy with his father. They were going through a supermarket and the father is pushing the, the basket down the aisle way. And the little boy at one point stops his dad and says, Dad, put out your hand. And the, the father puts his hand out and the boy takes money from his pocket and puts it in his father's hand. And his father said, what's this? Little boy looked up and said, that's $8.33. He says, that's everything I got. I broke my piggy bank and I put everything I have right there into your hand. And the father was a little bit shocked, didn't understand. He said, what, why are you doing this? He said, you can have everything I have, Daddy, just so you pay attention to me today. That's the world we're living in, I think. Sometimes we get so caught up in our own world, what we want to have happen, that we don't pay attention to what really is going on around us. The Gospel today is from Luke chapter 9, verses 43 through 45. While they were all amazed at his every deed, Jesus said to his disciples, Pay attention to what I am telling you. The Son of Man is to be handed over to men. But they did not understand this saying. Its meaning was hidden from them, so that they should not understand it. And they were afraid to ask about this saying, the gospel of the Lord. So Jesus is with his apostles, disciples and apostles. They, he is just, Jesus just has come down from Mount of Transfiguration where he was there with, with, with Peter, James, and John, and he was in a cloud. They saw, they saw Jesus in a cloud with Moses and Elijah talking. They heard the voice of God from the heavens say, this is my son, listen to him. And when they came down the mountain, Jesus did some healings of a, a, a woman who had a bad hemorrhage and another child. And so he had done great deeds, including the transfiguration on the mountain. And so seeing all this, they were amazed, the scripture says today, they were amazed by all these things that Jesus has done right in front of them, that he has performed these miracles, that he has healed the sick, that, that he stands with Moses and Elijah, and the, the heavens are opened up and, Jesus, and God from heaven speaks to them. And they're amazed, the word amazed is here used. And they listen to Jesus who now says this phrase, Pay attention. In other words, Jesus is saying, I know you're amazed. I know you've, you've um, paid attention to the, the miracles that I've performed. You've listened to the teachings. But I don't know if you're really paying attention. I don't know if you're really focused on what's going on. And then he lets them know that he is going to be uh, basically turned over by a man to authorities, and he's going to, he says, the Son of Man is to be handed over to men, but they did not understand this saying. He's telling them again about his death. He is forewarning them about his death. He's going to do it three times because they just don't seem to get it and don't understand. So why don't they understand? Are they not paying attention? Or are they paying attention to only what they want to pay attention to? The young boy in the opening story he said, Dad, pay attention. I know you're paying attention to what you want, the football games or other things that you want to do, your projects. But he says, pay attention to me today, Daddy. And Jesus is saying to his disciples, pay attention to me. Pay attention right now. Stop focusing on the miracles and pay attention to me. I'm going to be handed over. I'm going to my death. So why didn't they believe, as the scripture tells us today? Possibly disbelief, that they did not want to um, believe that that kind of thing would happen to Jesus. They were shocked by such a, a suggestion that somebody is going to turn him over to authorities and it's going to result in his death. And I remember when I was told that my mother was going to die. She was only 56 years old. I was 25. And I was told that the doctors gave her just a couple of months to live. And I was shocked, and I was in disbelief. I didn't want to believe it. And that's what we go through when a, one close to us, it tells us that something is going to happen. We say, no, no, I don't want this to happen. It's not going to happen. And we try to maybe convince ourselves otherwise. But they also, maybe, in addition to disbelief, 
they had created in their minds a different Jesus. In other words, Jesus has been laying out through his teachings and his miracles who he was, and yet they weren't paying attention. And so they, in their minds, created their own Jesus. They created their own Messiah. You see, I believe that all of them, all 12, believed that Jesus was the Messiah. But their understanding and their vision and, and their belief in what Messiah was was more in line with King David or King or General Judas Maccabees, an earthly king, an earthly general who was going to rise up and save the, the people of Israel. And I think that that's what they saw in Jesus. And here he's talking about his death. Well, how can he accomplish those great things as Messiah if he dies? So again, we get back to paying attention. They have not been paying attention to what Jesus was truly saying. They were focused more on what they wanted to see, and they weren't paying attention to what Jesus was telling them. So in our life, as we have our walk of faith, let us pay attention to what Christ is really telling us, what he's telling us through the scriptures, through our prayers. Let us pay attention to who this Jesus who came down to this earth with one purpose, to die on that cross, to open heaven for all of us, to save us for our sins. Let's pay attention to that Jesus and let us learn and grow in our faith and our relationship with God through Christ. Amen? This is Mark Price. Thanks for listening.